Hello guys, here's Madame OK and today we will be working on the beautiful landscape painting and I go right away into paint and I will use the light green color and I will divide with the line you see here where is the sky and where is the ground or the land. So this color is very nice and from there I'm going right away with some of the green here with a little bit heavier line. So that will be my line here of some, maybe bushes later on, we don't know yet, maybe bushes, maybe uh, some even later we can extend you to the trees or maybe this line will disappear later on. So my brush with the green is here, I now, since I have a green, so on it I can go towards the darker colors um, or move. So I'm applying this, I don't want to have it too dark, so I'm thinking a little bit of white that will be mixed with my purple color and this color is going underneath of the trees that I intend to have here. Since I plan to have some flowers in the front I think I want to have like a, almost like a wash of uh, light green here in this section because even when you have flowers um, let's see a tulip field you still in some places can see the green stamp and I certainly want to bring me this impression so there will be my stamps here you see like this I still want to mix this color with some of white and then with lots of water apply it so that this way the color will look like a watercolor application see some of the green will also come on the top not too much but i do want to see some traces of the green as well okay. like this okay so vertical diagonal lines that represent the stems of the flowers moving according to the wind see so this little bit now it's a little bit stronger green or darker and i even apply a darker green now you see just here and there, not too much, otherwise I just, oh my goodness, white came here. Well, I had it on the brush, that's why. You see, a little bit of it here, tiny bit here, a little bit more here. Wow, la, 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 that will look good, okay? Maybe, maybe I never can, can stop, so we'll be here. Now, from there, I want to have some of the darker green, maybe some sections here on the top see like this don't forget that we have to still work on the sky and for the sky I have to use a clean color so that means a clean brush little bit of the white that I apply here with tiny bit tiny bit of blue and the blue that I want to use will be the ultramarine blue because it has a little bit of reddishness in it and I like the effect so you see this is my color here still a little bit of it here Ooh, that's very dark I don't want to have it so dark so I'm going with white on it you see and I try to spread it even cleaning up a little bit whoa 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 that was quite a bit on my brush white again you see and then going here Just here. and since I have this lovely color here I also want to bring some of the blue onto my flowers and I think that my field will be my either on the yellow side I will make it or the yellow flowers or pinkish flowers because I like I like both okay so you see here that's what I'm applying here very nice I will have another one here just like this just like this and a little bit more here just a touch, just a touch, just a touch, and having fun, that's the most important, you see? And then we can also apply pure white, but we are not rushing with it. Good, now from there, I want to make sure that I will have, that I will see my beautiful, um, beautiful flowers. Here, I will be using pink color, okay? And for my pink, I mix, actually I have a ready-made pink, and I'm still add a little bit more white into it and I want to have have it on this in the back as a more or less unified color here and then like this you see and then going towards the front I will bring more details so 
that's what will be here with a little bit of variation so you have to be careful my pink is next to the green and when there will be an accident that i mix them too oh i don't get a nice color i don't want to have such a mixture now still working faster 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 you see the green works so well between so we did need it very badly okay coming here and then having some of the red in some other sections here see coming 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 and i think the orange would be also a very good addition for us coming here la 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 and see how good everything will look like yes for sure still a little bit more here and still tiny bit more there now the, i will now shape i will not shape some of the flowers here you see like this so you can recognize that the shape maybe do you see tulips i i intend to do tulips to paint you see like this okay like this good this and then and then we'll switch again and what i like to do i like to apply some of the darker colors here a darker green for sure because i want to show the stems and some of the leaves and also uh, with adding this color to the lighter green i really present that we have a huge amount of flowers here the stems of the flowers right you see how rich this becomes yeah that's what you want to keep here see so the next step will be to apply like you see fluid line i like to call it fluid line because it is you see on the top here okay like this okay so you can see that i twist my brush very much to get the effect of the tree so i'm doing it the same on this here tree fluid again i mix two colors together I place a darker and lighter green right and then i'm working with them so even here i think i can still add a little bit more and then i'm going to the ground here you see this can go like this here okay so it's rich uh looks interesting oh we have one extra tree well how could it happen that i have forgotten about it okay and then again one side of my brush has one color on the other side i have the other color Okay, like you see here and my still my purple is there okay i want to cover this section here so you see i have three uh, trees i think that here i can get with them more a little bit more here and then and then what i want to have i want to use brown color so i'm leaving my brush um, and i'm uh, and i'm moving towards the pointed brush right so i'm moving to the color called um, either oxide red or burnt sienna when you use oil paints now um, from there we want to create the stems and my stems will be a little bit on the warm side because i use this beautiful brown color now what i have to do i have to create number of stems and you can see because i work with the uh, wet on wet that means i'm applying the fresh paint on top of the paint that didn't dry yet so therefore i'm using wet on wet technique here and this technique allows me to blend some paints together directly and one but at the same time it could be risky because when we don't do a good job that we have to start from the beginning you have to cover the. or oh, you see i went over here but that's okay i'm not afraid i will incorporate it into my flowers so I will still come with a darker brown but that will happen in the second not right away see so here I have my bushes I have already quite a bit of colors in my painting now from there I will look uh, for the brown darker brown to to really present where my um, where my branches are right and those trunks so you see now having all those lighter colors I can afford to go with darker, darker colors here one you see a little bit more a little bit more here and maybe a little bit more here good that will look good now from there i want to also change the the color of my bottom of my field here 
then when I have the darker um, or bushes like you see so nice this is this is that's what you always are looking for as painters we are looking at the nice color composition right so harmony so you see now since I have this color on the top I also want to introduce it also in my flowers a little bit to create this beautiful harmony so you see here I use a little bit of yellow with it as well you see so I mix yellow and my pink and with those cut with there I get a very different kind of pink here you see so I start getting a little bit of variety here I still want to bring some of the white here in the field notice what I do with the white I'm playing I'm creating almost like an aisle here zigzag line you see so something is going on here on it and I bring some yellow on it as well you see so the the flowers are you know looking like this is the deep field here oh la la what a deep field is going on here you see with all those different colors and they are dancing together and that's what you want to see you see here whoa 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 a whoa. little bit more of it here see i still will change the things here with the flowers in the front because i'm not so now when i look at them i think they can look better so you see we will in the second we will work on them and i'm very much open to to that that i change whatever i think will look better i definitely i'm not afraid i'm never afraid right as a painter you can't be afraid you have to have courage and you have to try oh la la that looks really really good you see here really bringing the changes really making sure that there's such a richness in the front of the colors okay so and then going back everything it's a little bit toned down now i want to use a little bit of the pink that i have um here and then i bring this pink all across all across to, i really want to have colors here i want to have it rich and beautiful you see playing and playing and playing until I will decide that I'm happy maybe still a little bit more white here because this white adds something to our painting you see it really looks wild I don't like it like this okay so now a couple of them coming through and we will work on the flowers and then we have to go back to our sky right so this is good let's put some of this yellow here you see a little bit stronger flowers here i like it like this coming oh wow i wow. see it's really it's rich and rich and rich good now from there i want to go back let's see when i put the blue here oh yeah a couple of strokes the same here a couple of strokes you see the same here little bit more and then our beautiful sky what do you want to do to the sky i'm just wondering what do you think do you have an idea we can bring some clouds right we can bring some lighter clouds but do we want them do we really need them let's see what will happen when we get them thicker like this oh actually that can work like you see thicker clouds like this one coming like this something happening here right and maybe something there we don't know you can see one unhappy one here that already changes everything right and then i will come with a little bit darker blue here just to emphasize a little bit of the contrast between the cloud and now a sky That looks really 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 good okay still a little bit darker because it's always darker on the bottom part I like to come here with this color and then I like come here with a tiny bit more of the of the green uh, green blue see
yeah that's good a little bit more of it here especially there a little bit darker underneath especially underneath of our clouds to emphasize their shape right like you see here really giving it this nice shape perfect see so this is good this is really 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 good okay coming here and i think we can call what do you think about the flowers maybe maybe a couple more flowers here we'll still develop them so i'm taking my brush and now i'm coming here and i'm shaping them like you see helping my flowers to have certain shape okay like this and like this you see thinking about the tulips i like tulips so i will make something what will look or has reminiscence on the tulips so using just two strokes see i bring the shape of the flowers here and i think like you see here just bringing the strokes like this like this like this and then i will have my flowers see my field of flowers except that, that i still will take maybe a little bit more of the very intense red and with this red i'm going in some sections here to help my painting you see to look stronger because this variety is very important okay so let me know what do you think about this painting if you like it and if you like it then you can make your own so thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye